For the first time in three years, states will start checking eligibility for anyone enrolled in Medicaid. States stopped checking eligibility during the pandemic because the federal government wouldn't let states kick anyone off the program. But starting April 1st, the federal government will allow states to remove people who are not eligible. DHS says a little more than 1.1 million Arkansans are currently enrolled in Medicaid. We have a little over 400,000 uh, Medicaid beneficiaries whose uh, benefits have been extended because of the public health emergency. If that uh, change in rules wasn't in place, they uh, might have been disenrolled. Gavin Lesnick with DHS says they will be redetermining whether those people are still eligible. He says this letter began going out to recipients in February and will continue going out for the next few months. He says for those who still meet the Medicaid requirements, their coverage will continue. There will be some folks who uh, have had a change in their income, have had a change in their circumstances, and no longer qualify for Medicaid. So part of this process will be moving them off Medicaid and finding other places for them to get health care coverage, whether that's an employer-sponsored plan or uh, a plan through the federal marketplace. Jaden Atkins is a staff attorney with the Economic Justice Work Group for Legal Aid of Arkansas. She and her co-workers are helping get the word out that this is happening and they are here to help. She suspects this change is going to be a surprise to a lot of people. Some people have probably been receiving some notices in the mail in the last two months um, asking them to provide information but they may not understand that um, their failure to provide that information or all of the information that DHS thinks they need to provide to answer it um, is going to result in them getting cut off of benefits. Covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. DHS encourages Medicaid recipients to check their mail and to visit ar.gov slash renew to update your address and renew benefits. If you have any questions about this, please contact the DHS office as well.